You might have seen these strange long numbers before and if you are watching this video you probably want to know why it happens. Well, you are about to learn about a well-known problem in computer science. Floating point number precision. Every programmer will at one point calculate with numbers and get confusing results. Here is a famous example. What is the result of this calculation in Python? Yeah, it should be 0.3, right? Why does this happen? To answer this, let me ask you a question. This is a fraction. How would you represent it in decimals? Let's ask Python. Well, this one is easy. It's 0 0.5. Let me give you another one. 1 over 3. Python gives us the decimal representation. But you know, this is not exactly right. Because 1 over 3 should be more like this. In fact, the number of decimals are infinite here. So at one point we have to truncate the number. And by truncating the number, we lose some precision. The number has to be round off somewhere. Ok, so now you know the problem with decimal numbers. Let's get back to our original problem. 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 are already very precise. Both have only one decimal. So the problem must come from somewhere else. The problem is that floating point numbers have to be stored internally as a binary number. Imagine that the number you see here represents the numbers after the decimal point. This is a simplification of how it is implemented by programming languages, but that is not important right now. Because to understand the problem, you just need to realize one thing. Some numbers can be represented by a binary number that can be truncated without losing precision, like this number. This is just like the example of 1 over 2, where 0 0.5 can also be truncated without losing precision. But some binary numbers have repeating sequences, like this number. This binary number also needs to be truncated somewhere. Perhaps here, or here. It does not matter where it is truncated. This binary number will always lose precision when it is truncated. So when truncated binary numbers are added, the result is also not precise. And that is what you see when Python shows the result. By the way, this is not a Python specific problem. It is a floating point number problem. Is it a problem? It depends. Floating point numbers are still precise enough for most purposes. When you need more precision, most programming languages provide a decimal data type for better precision. I hope this video helped you to understand why sometimes you see these strange long decimal numbers. Happy programming!